Blueface's mom, Clarissa, just went off on Krishan for being a horrible mother and abandoning her son. This came after Krishan got arrested by the feds at Blueface's court hearing and Junior got snatched from her by CPS in the process. A lot of people have been reporting Krishan to the authorities for months now about how irresponsible she is with her son. And it looks like those reports did not fall on deaf ears because they're finally taking action to officially take him away from her. Both Blue and Krishan are now convicted felons, which makes it that much easier for Junior to get taken away from them for good. As it stands now, nobody really knows where Junior is, and there are a lot of speculations that he even could be missing. Now, for those of y'all who somehow missed out on all the tea, this whole mess went down a few days ago when Krishan showed up to Blue's court hearing with her son, only for her to end up getting arrested just seconds after her arrival. TMZ did a little digging to find out what really happened, and according to some eyewitnesses who were present at the time of the arrest, five LAPD cops were already waiting for Krishan when she walked in, so it appears this might have been planned ahead of time. As soon as she entered, they were on her. The eyewitnesses also told TMZ that two female officers searched Krishan once they had her in handcuffs, and her baby was taken away by police officers as well. Once the full pat-down was complete, Krishan was a out of the building, but it's unclear what happened to the baby. After her arrest, the police revealed the reason why they were arrested. And y'all cannot believe how ridiculous the whole story is. Apparently, Krishan got herself caught up in some legal trouble in Oklahoma back in 2022, when she was caught with some substances on her. But just before she was set to go to court, to receive her sentence, she left Oklahoma and went to LA so she could avoid jail time. The case obviously didn't go away because they busted her as soon as she stepped foot in that courtroom. What's even crazier is that she went on IG Live a few weeks back to tell her fans that she knew she had a case, but had zero plans for turning herself in. My one thing that um, I've been paying off fees and getting rid of sh talking to certain people to help my uh, situation out. Because, um, you know, I have my son, so the old me would have just turned myself in and dealt with it through in from inside to the outside of the jail, so Whatever, so I don't be like, you know, but uh, right now I gotta play it cautious because you know, I don't, I don't plan on um, being in jail while my son is growing. Like I just don't plan on that at all, so. Um, Ciao. Anyway, while she was getting dragged to the police car, she told paparazzi who were filming her that she actually forgot she had a warrant out for her arrest. What happened, Christine? I don't know. They saying I got a whole nother case caught up in downtown. I don't even be downtown. It's cool. I got my people looking into it. I don't know. Where you going to school to? That one? Excuse me, sir. What are you guys arresting her for? For a whole nother warrant. charge. A warrant out of for what? I'm sorry? A warrant for what, sir? She yep. has a warrant for the arrest, right? Right. Thank you. You gonna record me the whole way? The whole way, beautiful. Why? <laughs> you're, a, you're a big star. Oh God, this is not big shit. Oh, this is messy. And do y'all remember? Remember how I said sources that spoke to TMZ told them that the whereabouts of Junior were unknown? Well, a video just went viral that showed Blueface's dead father being given the boy to take care of just a few minutes after Krishan's arrest. And this man sat there and said no. Mind you, he shows up in Krishan's IG lives pretending to be a good grandfather, but when it came time to take care of his grandchild, he refuses and even tries to argue with them. What's even crazier about this is that Blueface's mom, Carlissa, was also in the room while this foolishness was happening, and she ain't bothered to pick up the baby neither. Okay. I'm not here for all that bullshit. I'm not here for all that bullshit. I'm here to support you, right? So I'm giving orders, man. I'm going to give that. But you was giving orders by that same girl that don't like to listen, right? So now she legitimate since she giving you orders. You how much shit don't go to the side for somebody else? She gave orders to the face. Am I right or wrong? Thank you. Give it the. So you follow the orders. 
She would live and learn. Who the follow any of Christian orders? Like, let's be real. You Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to jump in and tell you. Thank you, Carlissa. I'm with you on that one. Exactly. I don't watch the baby five or seven times. I'm not getting twisted. I'm not going to fuck. I'm not the baby. Okay? I'm not getting that. Where it was needed. Don't. Y'all don't like thinking I'm thinking I'm. My job ain't. But that's what everybody looked at you at on the internet. That's why you're here for all this. That's why you're here for all this. We know that. We know that. Get out of my cheek. That's crazy. The backlash that Carlissa and Blueface's dad received after this video went viral got so bad that Carlissa had to jump on IG Live to address the whole situation. She said her heart was completely broken when she saw Blue in court because he looked a hot stinking mess and she couldn't handle seeing her son in the condition that he was in. She also debunked the rumors that she didn't want to take Junior. She claims both she, Jaden, and even Krishan's friend Marshall were all willing to take Junior in once Krishan got arrested and that the only person who was against taking care of the boy was Blueface's dad. When I tell y'all this is too much, baby, it's too much. I don't think none of y'all could handle none of this. Now, I just walked in here to the court out and got kicked out. I got everything on the 6 out. Go subscribe to watch the whole thing. I was not present. I didn't see the. I didn't see her leaving the handcuffs. I think that's some f***ed up sh for both the parents to be in jail right now. But most craziest sh just see my son in court looking like old dog from Minister Society, and it just it 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 crushed me to my core. I cried. I got kicked out. I'm kicked out. Everybody's still in there. It's just, this is, when I say this too much, this too much. At this point, all the elders need to get in and try to help figure this out. This is too much. This too much for any parent. This too much for any person. Now, both the baby parents is in the jail. I, I did bring the video cameras because I talked to Wack and he's, you know, he got a good attorney and he said it was a slam dunk. So I was, you know, hoping to come get some Nana -na Boo Boo footage, some footage of, you know, my son maybe coming home today or possibly tomorrow, whatever the case may be. So I did bring the cameras because I got a heads up. But I did not know that I was coming into this type of, this type of, it don't even make no kind of sense. It don't even make no kind of sense. I'm not finna try to bash John's daddy for not wanting to take the baby. I, they got me saying, I, I, agree, I said, I'll take the baby. Me and Marsh are locked eyes and she said, don't worry, Carlissa, I got the baby. I told her, please just wait for my son to come, come in the courtroom with the baby and let my son tell you what he wants you to do with the baby. That, that's all I asked her to do tomorrow on the Patreon for y'all to see because I knew they was going to go try to chop it like we didn't want the baby. Everybody that was there today, I even think at one point Jaden looked up like she would take the baby. We wasn't no type of people. Y'all saying, oh, this ain't, this family ain't. Wasn't nobody, try, wasn't nobody leaving there and not taking that baby but Jonathan Daddy. Okay, that's the only person who said he wasn't no babysitter. Now, everybody who know me know I would have walked out of that with my baby. 
and treated that baby just like he was Jonathan, like he was Jonathan himself. And when she came home, I would have hand her her baby back. I would have took her baby up there to visit her. I would have did whatever it take because I know how it feels. Now, like I said before, this isn't the first time that people have questioned Krishan once it comes to her ability to be a good mom and take care of Junior. If y'all remember, Blueface actually called her out on being a bad mom some months ago when they got into it about Krishan failing to send Junior to the hospital for his hernia surgery. He even went as far as accusing her of taking substances and alcohol while she was pregnant. He said, I tried to do the right thing to keep it private, but this bee keeps going on and on. Leave me the F alone, you baby. I had a baby with a baby. Shakes my head. It's my fault too, for real. Can't cap. I tried to get that a but she prayed for this. He added, I don't care about Krishan's feelings. My son is hurting every day and she acting like it's not a problem. You had a baby on live, but you mad about the truth being live. She's a bad mother. Yes, she is unfit. She been pushing the surgery back, missing appointments so she can do what she wants. I went to Baltimore thinking it's surgery. They talking about she missed the appointment. But all this was just the start of it because there were a lot more instances after this that made people call CPS on Krishan because they felt like she was being a bad mother. Like a few months ago, when she ignored Junior crying in distress because she was trying to justify the stupid tattoo she got of Blue on her face. At the time, she was getting dragged for getting a tattoo of Blueface's mugshot on her face, so she tried to defend herself by going on IG Live to tell everybody to stop telling her how to live her life. While she was on live, people could not help but notice that Krishan Jr. was crying uncontrollably in the background. Ground. What made this even more concerning was that the cry did not sound like how most babies sound when they cry. He sounded like he was in pain and struggling to breathe. But instead of Krishan putting the phone down like any responsible mom should do, she completely ignored him and kept defending a tattoo. Who else? My name. Like everybody, f my mother, you just mad that it's not you. What did you talk about? All right, and then let's let's really get into the nitty gritty though. Let's really, 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 really get into the nitty gritty. It's not fake. So I don't know why I keep saying it's fake. I just got it professionally done at a place where they do like some real good. Shit. Two, um, let's check the mother. Just what actually. After all these things happened, people concluded that she was not fit to be a mom and took matters into their own hands by calling CPS on her. In fact, not too long ago, the police pulled up to her house unexpectedly while she was on IG Live talking about how awful she felt about the ongoing war between Israel and Palestine. While she was talking to her fans, she heard a knock on the door, and when she opened it, it was the cops. Apparently, someone had anonymously called in to make a report about Junior. What is going on with that country? Cause I'm like, damn, I'm watching all this damn grief on my phone. I start praying and shit. Lord, Lord, glory, glory. I keep saying, Lord, Lord, glory, glory. Bless their hearts. Like, went in straight pray mode, bro. Like, I ain't seen so much death on my phone. I was like, what the Bro, why the this is the cops at the door? Huh? Why is what? What's that? It's Pokemon's at the door. What? I don't <laughs> I'm gonna get off off of here. Don't say I'm here. It's that neighbor. It's that weird neighbor. So, as y'all can see, the warning signs have been there for a while. And now that both she and Blue are locked up, Junior can easily get snatched up by CPS any moment now. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, I bet CPS get the pictures and videos of everything now. Because it was too obvious something sneaky was going on. Another person said, Krishan, real life slow by choice. It's crazy. Cared more about the baby daddy than her own child. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Junior getting taken away from Krishan? And do y'all really think she's a bad mom? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.